Welcome to F260 week 40, Acts 17 and 18, <clears throat> entitled The Times Before Appointed and the Bounds of Our Habitation. Highlight verse Acts 17, 26, and have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Explaining this, <clears throat> we are of one blood in that we are all descended from Adam, the first man created by God, and before the foundation of the world, God not only predetermined when we should be born, the times before appointed, but also where we should be born the bounds of their habitation. Applying this, <clears throat> if he predetermined when and where we should be born, it goes without saying that he certainly predetermined that we should be born. None of us is an accident. Verse 26 tells us the where, when, and what of our birth. Verse 27 tells us the why of it. <clears throat> that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not very far from any one of us. God made us so that we would seek him and find him, and he put us in the most advantageous time and place for that to occur, the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. So if we don't make it to heaven after our earthly sojourn, then as Paul says in Romans 1.20, we are without excuse. To reiterate, as we have seen in these verses, God has predetermined for each individual human being in the world the time to be born and the place to be born that would be most advantageous that would be the most advantageous time and place in order for him to hear and believe in the one and only true God and come to salvation. And we are without excuse if we do not do so. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God before hath ordained that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2.10. Not only has he predetermined the time and place of our birth, but also has preordained the works that he wants us to perform or a special ministry he has prepared for us. Wherever the master has placed us, we can act like leaven in bread. Matthew thirteen thirty three. <clears throat> My response. I, I am especially aware of this in the Men of Valor ministry. We have almost a score of staff members ranging from hands-on prison ministry to managerial, administrative, promotional, developmental, and etc. positions. And any one of us will tell you we wouldn't want to be anyplace else doing anything else because we know God has put us where we are and equipped quit us to do what we are doing, which brings us the utmost fulfillment and blessings because as I've said before, when water goes through the pipe, the pipe gets wet. Amen. God bless. I credit Back B's Men of Man God uses for some of the wording of this account. Thank you.